Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna and I make New York City based adventure videos spiked with love and positivity. Today, we are at the Museum of Natural History on the Upper West Side in Manhattan. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the museum and show you what to expect during your visit. All right, let's get going. The American Museum of Natural History is located between 77th and 81st streets on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. The main entrance is located at 79th Street. The Theodore Roosevelt Memorial Hall is the main ticketing lobby. Open daily from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., except for Thanksgiving and Christmas Day, the museum offers many different ticketing options. As a resident of New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut, tickets are pay-as-you-wish unless you choose to visit a ticketed exhibition. Around 5 million people visit the museum each year. This is the largest natural history museum in the world. The entire museum spans four city blocks and consists of 25 interconnected buildings. The museum was founded in 1869. The museum scientists studied the diversity of Earth species, life in the ancient past, and the universe. The museum contains 45 exhibition halls displaying a portion of the institution's 32 million specimens and artifacts, such as plants, animals, fossils, minerals, rocks, and human cultural artifacts. Many species are displayed in lifelike dioramas. There is also a planetarium and library. The Richard Gilder Center for Science, Education, and Innovation opened on May 4th of 2023. The Gilder Center features new exhibition galleries, an insectarium, butterfly vivarium, floor-to-ceiling collections displays, educational spaces, a lecture hall, and a library. The design was influenced by the forces of ice and water. It connects to the rest of the museum on four floors. This 230,000 square foot structure cost $383 million to build. The leaf cutter and colony in the Gilder Center is one of the world's largest displays. The ants begin their work harvesting leaves in the foraging area. Bring their goods across the sky bridge and finish their work depositing leaves in a fungus garden. In the insectarium, you'll see 18 live species and many pinned specimens. These are the various pinned species of beetles. Although about one third of all the insect species on Earth are beetles, it freaks me out to see them like this. There's also live ones. Here's the Hercules beetle. Now on to another live creature. Here are the silkworms. It takes about 2,500 silkworms to make one pound of silk. Does anyone else have trouble identifying animals in their habitats like this? This one is bright blue, so you can easily distinguish it. Also in this area, there are digital exhibits and written materials which teach about the role insects play on Earth. This new wing is a wonderful addition to the museum. At Worlds Beyond Earth, the Hayden Planetarium takes you on a journey far from Earth to nearby planets. This 25-minute immersive movie highlights incredible space missions and depicts the evolution of our solar system. You'll be absorbed in a three-dimensional tour of the universe in a multi-sensory recreation of the Big Bang. The Milstein Hall of Ocean Life features high-definition video projections, interactive computer stations, hands-on models, 14 renovated classic dioramas, and eight new ocean ecosystems displays. The centerpiece of the hall is the 94-foot model of a blue whale, now resculpted and repainted to more accurately reflect the appearance of a blue whale at sea. The Northwest Coast Hall showcases the creativity, scholarship, and history of Pacific Northwest indigenous cultures. This gallery reopened in 2022. 
the museum has the most scientifically important collection of dinosaurs and fossil vertebrates in the world. It has six halls that tell the story of vertebrate evolution. For geology buffs, there's a separate hall of meteorites, minerals, and gems. Inside the halls of gems and minerals, you can see thousands of rare gems, mineral specimens, and pieces of jewelry. Here is the garnet display. I had to give a special shout out to those of you who are born in January and whose birthstone is the garnet. And these are the diamonds. You'll see all sorts of interesting, one-of-a-kind rocks in this section. One of my favorite parts is the Minerals of New York City display. If you live in NYC and are curious to see which rocks are prevalent to your area, the display is organized by borough. Number 22 on the display is nicknamed the Subway Garnet. It was discovered in 1885 near Herald Square. It was found during the excavation for sewer pipes. Finally, the gift shop is a nice place to find baseball caps, games, mugs, and clothing for children and adults. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss my videos when they go live on Thursday evenings. In the meantime, let's keep in touch on Instagram at Miss Anna Adventures. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you in next week's video. Take care. Bye.